Well, the first thing you do after you drill the well, while the drilling rig is still here, if you've logged it and you see you've made a well, you run casing in it. You can't, you can't complete this well just, up, just with a hole there. So we're gonna run a steel casing in the well. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna run it all the way to the bottom. And like in this, in this well here specifically, it's got five and a half inch casing in it. All right, it goes all the way to the bottom. And then we pump cement down the inside of it and around the outside of it to cover all the producing zones that we want to test. When you said, you know, does oil from one formation go to the next, when you don't have good cement and casing, that can actually happen. That's why the cement is such a viable part of the well, is we want those to be separate. So even they are separated in the earth, when you put the hole in the ground, if you don't have good cement between those intervals, they can be connected, which is not what we want to happen. So the cementing job too is a whole nother Absolutely. ball game. Absolutely. of its own. And then when you get ready to, to test the zones, then since you've got them isolated now with with uh, with casing and cement and you've got them you've got it you've got it under control where it can't do anything. So now you want it to flow now because you're ready for it. So you go in there and shoot holes in your casing exactly where you based on that log yep. where shoot you them. want those holes to right be there. and let the entry come out of the well into the casing. 